Professor, why are they doing it now? Uh, you mean that the national security legislation for Hong Kong? Correct. And uh, the, 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 uh, as to Hong Kong security law, and Hong Kong has returned to China sovereignty since 1997, which the Chinese central government has expected that it will be compatible with Chinese national security. And the written legislation will be enacted to prohibit any action from Hong Kong damaging the national security. But nearly two decades since 2003 proves that Hong Kong itself is unable to enact this legislation. While six months of violent actions by the Hong Kong radicals before the outbreak of COVID-19 epidemic have greatly urged the fixation of that problem. So the Chinese government now determined to do it the National Congress, according to the so-called annexed third of basic rule. Everything could so, have done. Professor, uh, but, 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 Professor, I just want to get your view here. D does the NPC's imposition of these uh, national security laws, uh, in fact, circumventing, going around uh, the Legislative Council's inability, if you will, for want of a better expression, to pass Article 23 represent a violation of the whole principle of one country, two systems? I don't think so. From Chinese government perspective, it is just for the effective imp implementation of one country, two systems. And Hong Kong is Chinese territory. And so and Hong Kong should not and uh, in any action directly violated the Chinese sovereignty and the central government, you know, the, the, the highest commanding position. And so I think that in the past almost 20 years, and if we rely on Hong Kong legislative, and it proves that they cannot by themselves to enact the legislature. So the now national government take over this process and according to the Chinese constitution and according to Hong Kong's basic law, and especially and before the outbreak of pandemic in Hong Kong, the six months of violent action by the radicals and urged this kind of things which Chinese government now and uh, determined to make a fixation of legislature. Professor Xu, should Taiwan be concerned about the security law in Hong Kong? After all, China's been trying to lure Taiwan with a one-country, two-system policy. And I think that the, 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 this doesn't mean that the Hong Kong is less important and in terms of China's vital national interests than Taiwan. So I don't think that the Chinese government will and satisfied any vitally important thing and, uh, for Taiwan and to delay indefinitely the inaction uh, of legislature for Hong Kong because and Hong Kong and Taiwan and respectively are all touch on vitally important Chinese national interests. As far as China is concerned, it's been trying to project its superiority, including in areas such as healthcare. Uh, I'm just wondering if the pandemic has somehow dented China's strategic positioning as a global power. I think that uh, China and uh, depends on its you know whole system and a very you know effective, especially and uh, since the. The, 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 the Wuhan lockdown, a very effective, you know, command and for national affairs for combat against this and, uh, epidemic. So now China and uh, control the, 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 the epidemic and to at the same time to return to the recovery of the economy. So everything seems that the, 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 the going well and uh, of course on the other hand, the challenge to prevent the rebound of the of the virus and the recovery of China's national economy 
and uh, represent a huge challenge and with a lot of huge difficulties and for Chinese government, uh, especially in consideration of the very bad world economic situation. Uh, Professor, does this move, I'm going back to the security law again, I do beg, uh, beg my pardon, uh, this jeopardize the favorable special trading status Washington does extend to Hong Kong and if that was actually removed it could hurt China in some ways by indeed ultimately not being able to benefit from having a separate legal system, a separate currency as well for Hong Kong. Does it worry you? Yeah, I, I think the Chinese central government is taking into consideration of all those negative and major and uh, possible effects. And the legislative process and the legislation itself by the National Congress could also you know, accelerate the U.S. administration to much reduce or even cancel in the Western situation the preference U.S. granted to Hong Kong in terms of trade and finance. And uh, therefore, it would very negatively impact upon China's own economic recovery. But uh, the, now the central government make a decision. So I think that they, and in their uh, perception, and uh, this legislation is extremely important. And uh, maybe and they consider that they should do it in despite of the very possible uh, negative American action, uh, which Professor. would impact greatly upon Hong Kong's finance and the trade. 